Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has announced that she will put forth the articles of impeachment for Representative Mike Johnson next week to oust him out of his speakership job. Uh, Representative Green had announced before this last uh, package of um, funding for Ukraine, for uh, Israel, and for Taiwan was passed, that she had already put forth the, the articles of impeachment and that she was going to deem the time and place that she was going to execute those articles of impeachment. And the time has come, along with Representative Massey on the steps of the House of Representatives today, Representative Green outlined the reasons why she will be putting forth the articles of impeachment. She said that Mike Johnson had lost faith and confidence of her as well as her constituents. When he came into power as the Speaker of the House, he was against the funding of Ukraine. He was against any funding for Ukraine over securing the border. I actually heard him with my own two ears speaking from the, uh, the, uh, the lectern that he would not bring forth a funding bill for Ukraine until the border was secure. But at the end of the day, the bill came to the House of Representatives. They voted it back to the Senate and not one sentence was changed in that bill. And the Senate passed it and it went on to the president's desk for signature. Normally when you pass a bill in the House, it goes over to the Senate, it goes to committee. They tweak it, send it back to the House, they either vote it up or down, and there's a back, there's a give and take between the House and the Senate before it's actually passed out of both the House and the Senate before the president signs it. But this time, it went straight through both the House of Representatives as well as the Senate, and the president signed it. That's highly unusual for that to happen. So there are a lot of conspiracy theories that they have something on Mike Johnson that allows him to act the way that he's acting. That's a conspiracy. But it sure has a lot of uh, teeth in it, considering he's uh, doing everything that the, the Democrats want him to do. He's passing every bill that the Democrats want, and the Republicans are actually getting nothing. The American people are not getting anything because the border is still wide open. Fentanyl is still uh, poured into the country. Illegals are steadily pouring into the country. So it's 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 pretty obvious that some may write up in, in Washington, D.C. When he was against it a long time ago, but all of a sudden he's for everything that they say. And the uh, representative Akeem Jeffries has come out and said, hey, we will support uh, Representative Johnson in, the, in his fight to keep his speakership. That should tell you everything you need to know about this situation. Some just ain't right with the Kool-Aid. If the Democrats are going to help support a Republican keeping his job as Speaker of the House. Some ain't right here, but I'll let, let you figure that part out. But there are two powerful people in Washington, D.C., the Speaker of the House and the Majority Leader. No bill comes to the floor without those two's approval. If there's a bill that needs to come to the floor for recognition, the Speaker of the House has to approve it. If it goes to the Senate, the Majority Leader has a determining factor whether that bill ever sees the light of day. There is a bill languishing in the Senate right now that fully funds the, the fight in Israel. That was never taken up. That was a separate bill altogether. But for whatever reason, Representative Johnson wouldn't fight for that. So next week, we'll have another battle and we'll see how the Democrats and Republicans line up on this House Speaker job once again. And there are many in the party say, why are we doing this now? Why shouldn't we do this now? Why are you so concerned about your job? Your job is to represent we, the American people. If that means that you kicking him out, getting somebody that's going to represent us, then that's what you do. Your job is to represent your constituents, not to represent another Republican or a, or a lobbyist there in Washington, D.C. who might be padding your pocket. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you could like this video, hit that like button. Please continue to watch my content. And if you are so inclined, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.